Hi everyone, Danny James here and today I have an exciting tutorial lined up for you guys. We're going to be learning how to zoom in and out of objects, whether that's a watch, a chain, doors, generally dope looking transitions used on music videos. If you're new here, kindly consider subscribing. Let's get to a thousand subscribers because I make weekly editing tutorials, a lot of music video effects, transitions and VFX styles that you can apply on your next project. Give this video a like and without further ado, let's get right into it. I'm on my Adobe After Effects. I have two compositions right here. I have one which you're going to zoom in and out of a chain. And I'm going to be showing you some good VFX tricks. I also have another composition right here beside. It's the one which you're going to be trying how to do a door transition. We're going to transition from this clip to this clip using this sort of door and show you some cool tricks. On this main composition right here with the chain, I'm going to show you how to zoom into the chain. It's very straightforward, first of all. I have this clip which has the chain part and I have the second part which is the artist vibing with his friends. At the end of this first clip, right at the very end, you can make sure to highlight on your clip, Control D to duplicate that and then right click on your clip anywhere. You can right click right here, even right here. Go to time and freeze frame. Now what that does, we have a constant frame which doesn't change. And if we extend it, it goes like this. If I hide this layer so that you can understand, right beneath we have the normal moving sequence. Only thing that we have frozen is this upper layer. Let me disable this other layer so that you can follow along well. What you want to do right at the beginning of this cut, just where we made this freeze frame, at this point, we are going to make a mask around this area. You can use this pen tool. You can click on your pen tool and start drawing around the part of the chain you want to mask like this. But in this situation, I noticed I won't get a perfect circle. So let me delete that mask. I want to get a perfect circle. I can go for this ellipse tool. You can select your ellipse tool, make sure to have clicked on your clip. And while you try to draw around it, it will create a mask. Now, of course, we can see what you're doing. You can go to your mask properties and then you can change from add to none. And then click on the mask so that you can adjust it how you want to. And I've moved to my selection tool also. If I want to adjust these points, I'll click, sorry, try to not click on the video. I'll try to click on this mask, these points, and I'll drag them to the corners. If you need to highlight, you can highlight like this, and then you can, you will see that you are able to move all of them or even two of them, like I've done that. And then it's time you can configure it to be a perfect circle if that's what you're looking for. Yeah, that's almost a perfect circle. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's a very fast transition. I'll go back to my mask properties and instead of none, I'll change it to subtract. The alternative is putting it on add and then you can invert this selection. So for now, I'll just use subtract. Right at the beginning of this clip, I'll go to my clip, hit S to get scale and I'll enable this stopwatch. And from 100, I'll go a few seconds and then I'll zoom into it. Once again, you can notice uh, as I'm zooming in, there is some space which is being left. So, and I'll have to also add some keyframes or I'll have to scale it up to this way. If you need your mask to be perfect, let me show you. If you need it to zoom perfectly, you can change your anchor point. The anchor point determines the perspective from which your video scales or whichever transformation options you do. And I'll move this anchor point to the middle. And now if I adjust the scaling, I'll go from 100 and on this next keyframe, I'll zoom and you can see it's very normal. Okay. And then I'll trim this first end, which reaches up to the cut so that this only begins at the end. And I'll re-enable all the other video layers so that you can see what this looks like. It moves from this to this. You can make this zoom more realistic so that it can feel like a real camera zoom in and you can add this motion blur and you can see instantly it changes from this to this. It's like magic like that. 
so that's a very easy one i want to show you how to now zoom in the reverse way we'll start with the artist scenes and then we'll go into the chain so i've just inverted this video how they were looking like i'll start from this one i'll also try to maintain the first clip to stay at the bottom of the composition so we'll start like this and then we will go to this chain right at the beginning of this second clip which has a chain i'll make a duplication i'll hide one of these duplicates and for this one i'll right click go to time and freeze frame the advantage with this one what i'll do i'll just extend it to the to this earlier part so that it can have this freeze frame appearing and then we'll do we'll basically do the same thing we've been we just did in the first example i'll create a mask around this chain i'll get an ellipse make sure to have selected on your chain i'll select the ellipse and then i'll go right in the middle i'll also disable this video so that you can see what you're doing i'll go to my mask properties i'll change it from add to none so that you can see what part we are actually selecting and i'll try to drag this if you want to adjust this i'm just highlighting these anchor points so that i can put them where i want them and anything else you can adjust using these pointers okay that's done i'll change the masking to add and then i can invert it the other way as i've showed you you can put it on subtract so we'll start with this video let me re-enable that layer again i hope you were not confused i'll go from this video and then it will go to this freeze frame now you want to play with the scaling properties just hit s and then you can enable that skill and then i'll push this keyframe a few seconds to the right or a few frames and then in the beginning i can zoom in but remember also what i showed you i've hit ctrl z to do that i want this anchor point to be right in the middle of this so i'll get this anchor point tool put right it behind and now if we change the scaling if we zoom in it's very parallel so it will go from this and then bam and then after that we can have the normal video play out so i'll re-enable this chain it will go from this to this and then the normal video will keep on playing now i'll also recommend something right when this this watch starts appearing just go to this other clip hit s add a keyframe for scaling so that as it becomes smaller you can also scale it to become a little bit small not necessary but you can add that you can see i've just moved from 100 to 90 degrees now that's really good it goes smoothly from this to this and then the normal video can keep on playing and then to make this even more real just enable motion blur for the chain so that as it comes down to this you can see there is this blur if i remove it you can see it doesn't look quite real and also remember if you're adding this add this after you've added these keyframes if you add this motion blur before you add these keyframes it will give you some problems which i noticed while doing this so it will go that to that and then the normal video will keep on playing now i have a small fix which can add some spice to this i want us to play around with this internal part of the chain i'll call it the pendant i don't know the name really but i'll call it the pendant right before this video continues i'll push it i'll go back to my selection tool i'll push it right to the end and then i'll duplicate this part so let's rename our layers so that you know what we are doing so we have the artists which which is this clip and then we have the chain only chain zoom which this is also a freeze frame layer it goes to this and then before that after that we go to this so i'll also urge you to keep this video playing right beneath so that at any point it looks normal i'll duplicate this chain zoom Control d let me hide every other layer and then instead of having the selection of everything but the chain i want to invert this mask so i'll hit m go to this mask i'll invert it otherwise i would also put it on add just like that now i have a selection of the chain only let me re-enable everything so that you can follow now i'll also give it a different label color as soon as everything settles in remember this is to appear right after the other animation 
after this has zoomed back it's when you can bring this other solid on this duplicate that we made i need us to delete any keyframes that were made like that and then it goes to this pendant i'll have this pendant up to here and then i'll add a keyframe for position and then i'll push this keyframe to the right and then i'll have this move from the left now you can see what i'm trying to do here it will go like this and then i'll bring the pendant back into the middle and then we'll go on with the video right in between as soon as it settles in okay let me push this keyframe right here as soon as it gets in bit in here i can add a keyframe for scaling now i'll scale it from 100 and then we'll go to something like 120 just some small detail and then i'll scale it back down to 100. i can space these keyframes It will look like this it will zoom and then zoom back and then go on in the video let me preview this part and you can understand and remember we can play around with this internal part of the chain this pendant let me rename this part pendant on this pendant we can add some effects i can add colorama it's on any adobe after effects just for free i'll play around with the input phase I can get any colors that I want. Now, if I run it back, it will go like that, and then it will bring this good color, and then it will hop back, and then it will go on with the normal video. As you can see, this video, which we let run in behind, it still goes on, and that's why it's important to have it right below your composition. I also forgot to highlight something. Uh, you see, like at this point whereby we had this colored pendant entering in if you need it to not be visible like appearing from this side just drop this layer right below this one and if we play it back and it enters like it was not even there so it's a really quick fix which can change the outlook of things very quickly and then right after that now let's go to this dot transition and i'll show you it should be really easy to do this I have the first clip a performance clip of the artist and a second clip the same artist coming out of our shop right at the beginning of this clip i'll duplicate this layer i'll move that layer to the right because we don't need it right now and then on this layer i'll right click go to time and then i'll freeze that frame so you have a constant frame which doesn't change i'll go around it with a pen tool and i'll create a mask with a pen tool i'll just go around this door you can go to full screen doesn't have to be a perfect mask I'll hit M on my keyboard to get my mask properties. I'll add the feathering to something like seven. I'll also invert this mask. So we have everything in the frame except the door and everything that is happening. Basically applying the same concepts. I'll hit U to collapse this. I'll bring this clip right before. I'll go to my scaling options. I'll hit S. I'll scale into it add a keyframe and then a few frames later on i'll put it back to 100 and whereby it gets back to 100 like this it should go like this the rest will come back right after this point i'll drag back my clip so it should be very smooth and then this clip should go on and if we add the motion blur and then on these two keyframes right click on them keyframe assistant put them on easy ease you can see after the easy ease it's a very smooth transition now you don't want this to just disappear magically i have a solution for that as it scales back to 100 you can add the keyframe for mask expansion so that it gets smaller with time it will come from zero and then as this clip ends, the mask expansion will make it less. Like and negative. also the keyframe so for the mask expansion. Really and then right click, keyframe assistant, easy is. Doesn't have to begin immediately. It can begin even at the final second. So that it goes like this. And then the video goes on like that.
and that's it from me guys if you made it this far thank you for watching and if you enjoyed certainly don't forget to leave a thumbs up comment if you have any questions queries or suggestions that you'd like to see me do share this link with your friends and i hope to see you in the next one peace